Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp messages from new Google Sheets table row. So I am a part of a sales and marketing team in a company and we create a record of our customers contact details in the table that we have created in our Google Sheets. And we want that as soon as we go to enter the detail of our customers contact in Google Sheets table as a row, automatically to one of our member in our team, a WhatsApp message should be forwarded regarding the contact details of our customer. For that, what we have to do is we are going to create an automation with Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. Because if we are going to do this manually, it will take us a lot of time. So here in this automation, what is going to happen that as soon as I'm going to enter the details of my customers in Google Sheets table that we have created, automatically to a member, a WhatsApp message is going to be forwarded using WhatsApp Cloud API. We have created a message template using WhatsApp Cloud API. If you want, you can use Varty or Interact to create your own message template. So if you want to learn this amazing automation between Google Sheets and WhatsApp, then let me take you all to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we're going to learn how to send automated WhatsApp messages from new Google Sheets tables row. So I am part of sales team in my company and often we rely on Google Sheets to track leads and customers contact details. With the help of this automation, every time a new lead is added in Sheets, that is every time a new customer's contact is added into my Sheets in the table that we have created with the help of Google Sheets, an automated WhatsApp message should be forwarded to the sales representative responsible for the customers whose contact details we have added. This ensures that the customer can be promptly followed up, increasing the chances of conversion and maintaining a high level of customer engagement. And we're going to be creating this amazing automation between Google Sheets and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing and you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A new dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as how to send automated WhatsApp messages from new Google Sheets tables row. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. You can give a name to your workflow according to your requirement. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my public init account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this arrow. So these are the folders from which I'm going to select WhatsApp automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to a workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of how to send automated WhatsApp messages from new Google Sheets tables row and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps for automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly we need to set up our trigger step and for the trigger application we are going to select it as Google Google Sheets. We are selecting our trigger application as Google Sheets because we are working as a sales and a marketing department and we have created a spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet I've created a table. You can see this is the table that I've created and what I'm doing is what we want is that as soon as we're going to enter the details of the customer in this table right away in the spreadsheet that we have created this table right over here automatically to one of our team member a WhatsApp message should be forwarded regarding the contact details of our customer so that afterwards they can nurture the customer okay so I've created this table and I want that as soon as I'm going to enter the details of the customer in the spreadsheet in this table right over here automatically public and it should capture the response so as we have created this table in our Google Sheets we are selecting our trigger application as Google Sheets for the trigger event we are going to select it as new or updated spreadsheet row okay and then you can see after selecting the trigger application and the event public connect has provided us with a webbook URL with the help of this unique webbook URL we can connect Google Sheets to public connect as this URL works as a bridge between them okay we have to follow the steps given here below in the help desk we are going to first copy this url from here 
as we have copied the url we have to open the spreadsheet that we have created you can see this is a spreadsheet that i have created and in the spreadsheet i have created this table you can see right over here so we go to connect the spreadsheet to public connect so as soon as we go to enter the details of our customer in the spreadsheet in the table right over here automatically public connect is then going to capture the response okay so in my row 1 i have created the header of my table you can see right over here and from the row 2 i am going to enter the details of my customers contacts okay so remember to create the header of the table in row 1 and you have to enter the details of your customers from this row to right over here okay so we go to first connect the spreadsheet with public connect for that click on this extensions button from these options right over here after click on extensions from the options you have to click on add ons and then on get add ons as we go to do that the new window is going to appear and in the search bar we have to search for pabli connect webbox we go to search for pabli connect webbox over here you can see it says pabli connect webbox we go to select this option as you can see that i have already installed pabli connect webbox so i'm going to move forward but if you haven't installed pabli connect webbox please do install it so you can connect pabli connect with google sheets so i'm going to go back as i've already installed it as you have installed it go back to extensions again under extensions you can see after installing it is coming as pabli connect webbox so you go to open this and there are multiple options given to us over here to connect public connect with the spreadsheet if you click on this initial setup button as we go to do that the initial setup dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for a web hook url and a trigger column for the web hook url i'm going to paste the web hook url that public connect has provided us and then for the trigger column it says the trigger column will be a file data column on which if the data is added so in the spreadsheet the trigger column is going to be column e because in this column the final data is going to be added so over here i'm going to write it as column e okay after pasting the url and selecting the trigger column we have to click on the submit button As you have done that, it says setup configurator successfully. I am going to go back. So remember the steps which I am going to tell you right now. Very important. Please do not forget to follow them. Click on extensions again, and public and web books. You can see from these options now. Click on send on event. As over here it is saying working. As now the loading is completed, go back to extensions and public and web books. You can see a tick mark is in front of send on event. It is very important to click on send on event because whenever you go to enter the data of the contact details in the spreadsheet, it is going to send that data to public connect. That is why it is very important to click on send on event. Okay. After successfully adding the web book in the spreadsheet, I'm going to go back to my workflow. Now over here it is saying waiting for web book response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to add the data of our customer details in this spreadsheet right away, and we're going to check whether public Public connect captures the response of the details being added in our spreadsheet or not. So I'm going to enter the details. Firstly, it is asking for the first name of our customers. For the first name over here, I'm going to write it as demo. Okay. Next, it is asking for the last name of our customer over here. I'm going to write the last name that is person. For the email of our customer over here, I'm going to write it as demo person at the rate publicutes dot com. So I'm going to write this email right over here. For the phone number, I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. And next, it is asking for the priority. This customer's priority. I'm going to select the priority over here as medium. So I'm going to select the priority over here as medium. Okay. So as I've entered the details of my customer in the spreadsheet right over here, in the trigger column E right over here. So now I'm going to open my workflow that I've created, and I'm going to check whether public connect has captured the response of this data of our customer or not. For that, I'm going to open my workflow that I've created. I'm going to scroll down, and yes, you can see right over here, public connect has captured the response. Okay. Let us tally the response for the first name of our customer being demo, last name as person. For the phone number dummy mobile number priority comes as medium for the email as demo person at the rate publicutes dot com and all the other details. So this means that Google Sheets is now successfully connected to public connect and a trigger setup is done. So now what we want is as soon as we go to add the details of a customer's contact in the spreadsheet, automatically to one of our team members a WhatsApp message should be forwarded as a notification. So what we are going to do is we are going to set up our action step and for the action application over here I am going to select it as WhatsApp Cloud API. I am going to select my action application. Application as WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API, I've created a message template, and I want to send this message template as a message on my team members WhatsApp as a notification regarding the customers' contact details being added in our table on a Google Sheets table. So that is why I'm going to select my action application at WhatsApp Cloud API, and for the action event, I'm going to select as send template message, and I've selected my action event as send template message because I've already told you that I have created a template with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API, and I want to send this template as a message to my team member so that they can have the details of our lead that is the contact automatically okay so that is why for the action event i select as send template message and then i'm going to click on this connect button a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection as soon as you to click on add new connection it is asking for the token phone number id and the whatsapp business account id to connect whatsapp cloud api with pabli connect so from where we are going to have the details over here from for that click on this learn more button 
as we go to click on this learn more button you will be forwarded towards this page and if you go to scroll down you can see it says how to set up whatsapp cloud api inside pabli connect if you're going to watch this tutorial right over here you're going to learn how to step by step complete whatsapp cloud api setup with pabli connect and if you're going to complete the setup you're going to have the details right over here that pabli connect is asking for and if you go to further scroll down it says how to generate permanent token inside whatsapp cloud api so the setup that i've created you can see i've created the setup in which I, we have received the temporary access token but if you want the permanent access token for that you have to watch this another tutorial right away which is going to help you to step by step generate permanent token for whatsapp cloud api by following the steps given here below you can also learn that okay so as i've already created the setup i'm going to open the whatsapp cloud api setup you can see that this is the whatsapp cloud api setup right over here in the, in the setup we have the temporary access token but you can also create the permanent access token by watching the tutorial okay so as over here it is asking for the token phone number id on whatsapp business account id of three of the details that is token phone number id the whatsapp business account id so i'm going to copy this from here paste it right away for the phone number id copy the id from here paste it right away similarly for the whatsapp business account id copy this from here paste it right over here after all the details click on the save button as you have done that, WhatsApp Cloud API is now successfully connected to Public Connect. Firstly, over here it is asking for the template name. So I've created a template in the name of Contacts Message Template. And I'm going to sending this template as a message to my member in the team. So for the template name, over here, I'm going to select as Contacts Message Template. Next, it is asking for the language code and the selected template ID. As soon as you to select the template name, the language code and the selected template ID is automatically going to be selected. So you do not need to do anything with these steps. Next, over here it is asking for the recipe mobile number the recipient mobile number is the mobile number on which you want to send the whatsapp messages to for the recipient mobile number i'm going to enter my mobile number as i want to get the notification of the new contact details that are been added in my google sheets table row so in the place of recipient mobile number i'm going to enter my mobile number right over here so i've entered my mobile number in the place of recipient mobile numbers so now i'm going to receive the message on my whatsapp number right over here in place of the recipient mobile number you have to enter the mobile number to whom you want to send the whatsapp message is to okay so now it is asking for body field 1 body field 2 body field 3 4 5 and 6 so in this template that i've created i have also added six variables this is the body field 1 this is the variable 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the variables are in place of these variables i want to enter the values of my customer so that is why i've placed these variables in this template right over here and in this workflow these are the same variables that i've entered okay for the variable 1 that is the customer name so for the variable 1 what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of our workflow how it works is as well as to click on this field right over here you can see it says google sheets near updated spreadsheet row this was the previous step of our workflow if i'm going to click on this this was the same response that was captured in our previous step as over here it is asking for the customer's name so i'm going to map the full name of our customer select the first name space select the last name as i selected the data that is the first name and last name from my previous response the data is mapped and as the data is mapped, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in a previous step, automatically the data right over in place of this map data is going to be updated. Next, it is asking for the customer's first name. So I'm going to map the data for the first name. Okay. For the last name, I'm going to map the data for the last name of our customer. For the email, I'm going to map the data for the email of our customer. Similarly, for the phone number, we're going to map the data. And lastly, for the priority, we're going to map the data of the priority. This is the priority. I'm going to map the data. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As we have done that over here, you can see we have received the response and the message status over here, it says as accepted. So this means that a WhatsApp message is forwarded to our number. As in the place of recipient mobile number, I've added my mobile number. So WhatsApp message is going to be forwarded on my number. So I'm going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to check whether a new message is forwarded on my WhatsApp or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, you can see right over here, I have received a new message on my WhatsApp with the subject being new lead alert demo person. Hello demo user, this is the name who to whom we have sent the message to. Great news, you have a new lead. Lead details, first name as demo, last name as person, email as demo person at the rate publitudes.com for the phone number, the mobile number, priority as medium. Please reach out to the lead as soon as possible to discuss their needs and how we can assist them. Best regards, team dream frame. So this is the message template that I've created using WhatsApp Cloud API and the message template is forwarded to me as a message on my WhatsApp. Okay. 
So this means that we successfully created an automation between Google Sheets and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. But now for all of you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the date of another customer contact details in the spreadsheet right away, and I'm going to check whether a new WhatsApp message is forwarded to me on my WhatsApp number or not with the contact details or not. For that, firstly, I'm going to create a record of another customer's contact details in this table in our Google Sheets right over here. As you can see that I've entered the details of my customers in this table right over for the first name as test, last name as account, email as test account at the rate pablitudes dot com for the phone number, dummy mobile number, and priority as low. So as I've entered the details of my customers, the contact details of my customers in this table in my Google Sheets right over here. Now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and I'm going to check whether I have received a new WhatsApp notification regarding the new lead details added in this table in our Google Sheets or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. WhatsApp and yes, you can see right over here we have received a new message on my WhatsApp number for the subject being new lead alert test account. Hello demo user, great news you have a new lead lead details first name as test last name as account email as test account at the rate publicudes dot com for the phone number dummy mobile number priority as low. Please reach out to the lead as soon as possible to discuss their needs and how we can assist them. Best regards. Team Dream Frame. So this is the message that has now been forwarded with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API on my WhatsApp number. So this means that we successfully created an automation between Google Sheets and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done. I am a member of the Sales and Marketing Department in my company. And we create a record of our customers' contact details in the table that we have created in Google Sheets. So here we wanted was that as soon as a new record of the contact details of our customer is created in the table that we have created in our Google Sheets, an automated WhatsApp message should be forwarded towards our team member re regarding notifying that a new customer contact details has been added in our Google Sheets table row. And for that, we've created this amazing automation between Google Sheets and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video. Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli .com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching